the theme song for many new parents who faced a host of new challenges, one of the most common, though, dealing with sleep issues. When children don't fall into a regular pattern of sleep, parents usually aren't sleeping much either. But finding a solution isn't just a dream. So-called sleep coaches can diagnose sleep problems and are recommended simple solutions, providing some much-needed relief. When we first brought her home from the hospital, within a couple of days, she was sleeping from about 11 o'clock at night until five or six in the morning. You had to think like, we're home free, this is I amazing. I thought, like, compared to my friends, I thought, oh my God, this, is re this really is amazing. First time mom, Ariel Burnham, says that amazing period of restful nights with her newborn Cooper was short lived. You just wanna walk. When Cooper outgrew her bassinet, she slept in her parents' bed until they got a mattress for her crib. Suddenly, it was taking a heroic effort to get Cooper to sleep for even small stretches of time. To sleep, I would have to rock her or nurse her or carry her around and sing to her for 45 minutes. We were getting her into the crib for maybe three or four hours, and then she would spend the rest of the night in bed with us. And not really sleeping, just kind of nursing all night at the all-you-can-eat buffet. How was your sleep during that time? Oh, it was, it was non-existent. New parents are often asked how their baby sleeps at night. For many, the answer is not well. A recent study in the journal Pediatrics found at six months old, only 43% of babies were sleeping eight-hour stretches, and at 12 months old, about 57%. To train their infants to sleep when they do wake in the night, some parents won't go to their baby's crib or may delay feeding. <laughs> but for others, it's too difficult to ignore the crying. My husband and I were pretty firmly against any of the traditional sleeping methods. We wanted to do something as gentle as possible. I felt I didn't help her in the way that she needed and that was, I felt very guilty. That's why Ariel Burnham called Mommy Wise, a company that provides 72 hours of in-home coaching and additional support after. The promise, according to owner Natalie Navaris, to get babies sleeping through the night. When I meet a family, as I first talk to them, I connect with them on the phone, make sure that they're 100% a good fit, and that means that both caregivers are aligned, that they're okay with a little bit of crying, not endless crying, but a little bit of crying, that they're okay putting their baby in another room. The secret sauce is that we're there in real time assessing what's actually happening. Take a nice nap. The plan for Cooper included breaking her habit of nursing yeah, to sleep and moving her crib out of her parents' bedroom. That's what a lot of babies are used to. They nurse to sleep, they feed to sleep, they get rocked to sleep. The sleep association is what we're changing. Really all we're doing is putting the baby down awake. The strategy worked. The first night, it took Cooper less than 15 minutes to fall asleep on her own. By night two, Cooper slept nearly 13 hours. You can't get your child to sleep and you're exhausted and all the different emotions. So what's the reverse emotion like when Elation. you finally get it? Yeah, I was elated to sleep a whole night. I mean, it, I, it had been, you know, almost 11 months. Dr. Jennifer Shu is a pediatrician and spokesperson for the American Academy of Pediatrics. Despite how difficult it may be to ignore a baby's cries while trying to change their sleep patterns, sleepy time, let's take this off you. She says doing so won't hurt them. Limited periods of letting a baby cry for several minutes every night for about a week are not known to cause long-lasting harm to the baby's emotional and mental development. Dr. Shu says good sleep habits should begin early. If a parent can expose their baby to a lot of natural daylight and regular noise throughout the day, that can be helpful to have the baby set their internal clock. And then starting about seven o'clock at night, make it dark and quiet for your babies. If a baby is having trouble sleeping, Dr. Shu recommends parents wait until babies are four to six months old to start a sleep training program with the blessing of a pediatrician. Around 3,500 infants die annually from sleep-related deaths, including sudden infant death syndrome. To reduce that risk, the AAP recommends babies sleep on their backs in a bare bassinet or crib, and that parents share a room with the baby, ideally for a whole year. The idea that the American Academy of Pediatrics says that you should room share until the age of one, mm -hmm. this is not that. No. If you've got, you know, the room is right next to your room and you've got your baby on a monitor, you can see and hear your baby just as much as if your baby was in the room. 
The advice may seem simple, but the kind of personalized coaching MommyWise provides is an investment with a Yay. price tag of up to $7,500 in big cities like New York. If somebody's wondering, is it worth the cost, what would you say to them? I know that it is because our clients tell us every day that it was money well spent. I know we've saved marriages. I've seen mothers who literally couldn't cope at all. So I know that it's a struggle for a lot of parents and I wish that I could help everyone. The way she helped the Burnhams, who these days have a much easier go with bedtime. And for mom Ariel, sleeping like a baby is priceless. If this is something that is within your means, then I highly recommend it. And I think that there are different options at different price points for everybody. There should be no stigma attached with seeking out help. Why do you think there's a stigma associated with the idea that you need somebody to help you with your child? People see the bond of motherhood as this kind of secret community and that inviting outside help is some sort of indication of a lack of ability. And it's the support and then the confidence that somebody else can give you Absolutely. because they're looking at this differently. Uh, yeah, I mean, and that's, I guess, sometimes all it takes, right, is a different perspective. And you know, we don't have that different perspective. We don't have families living as close right. necessarily. Yeah, so your right. mom might not be there. And Ariel even said, you're so sleep deprived. Yes. You need somebody else who has you a can't fresh think. mind. You exactly, can't you really think. can't. My son did not sleep through the night till he was two. He's now in college. <laughs> you know how but, we... But, but <laughs> I remember you, the pain. <laughs> <laughs> and I should say, you know, that price point is very high. Remember, yes. that's a big city. Prices range, the services range, so it is something that people can yes. look into for the help. Okay, Margo slept through the night. <laughs> <laughs> Thank we'll you, Margo. Them.